Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph. I am beyond excited to be filming this video today because I am going to be playing with the new palette from Melt Cosmetics, the Amour Imariposas. So this is the box it came in. How stunning is that? Just oh, like a bar of gold with a butterfly. I'm a huge fan of butterflies. Also, um, I used to call my daughter my little butterfly and I have a butterfly tattoo on my ankle for her, for her, to represent her, who knows. Um, this is the packaging of the, the palette itself and I don't know how well you can see, these are hummingbirds. I didn't notice that straight away and I didn't notice when I saw the pictures of the palette advertised either, um, but you've got all these gorgeous butterflies they are raised and shiny and the hummingbirds are raised oh my god and even the back of the palette the thought that has gone into the packaging is just oh, amazing and then on the inside you have this gorgeous mirror and then this is the color story it is absolutely stunning i'm so excited to be playing with this. I'm going to be doing two looks, one on each eye. So yeah, if you want to see them, then keep watching. And let's get into our first shade, shall we? So I am first going to be taking Noob, the purple, and I'm taking that on a Spectrum A12. And I really don't want to dip my brush in the butterflies um, you can really see the pigment on the brush well you probably can't because the end of the brush bristles are already purple already purple oh stuff madness um, so I'm going to take this right in my outer area of my lid and crease and I'm going to take that kind of out at an angle a bit oh i am so excited to be playing with this i was so surprised when it came straight to beauty bay and so yeah i had to have it i still had a little bit of birthday money left over to put towards it so yeah and this is what I wanted to get. I do have some other things on the way, but this is not the video to talk about those. This palette is stunning. I, the detail, Melt really do go all out with their detail. It is amazing. Oh, taking that. I'm not gonna worry too much about blending yet. And I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure what it is I'm going to do. I kind of have a couple of ideas, you know, just in case one fails. So we shall see. But I knew I really wanted to try this purple because I have seen, um, seen, I've heard other people say that it is a really amazing purple, not patchy. And I have to say, I'm agreeing with them. It is a very pigmented shade. But yeah, no issues with that whatsoever. So I am going to take Mensahe, Men Mensahe, I think, the yellow. I will more than likely butcher these names, so I apologize in advance. And I'm going to take that just in this spot here. And I will blend it into the edge of the, the upper edge of the purple in a moment. But right now, this is beautiful. I do love this shade of yellow. It is stunning. 
I'm just taking that up a bit higher and then down across the purple. The shade is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I will go in and blend everything out better um, once I've got my colours down. But this is a colour combination that I initially, like, immediately wanted to try. Um, it was the first look, or colour combination anyway, that came to mind when I looked at the colour story. It is so pretty. The pigment in this is amazing. And I didn't say what brush that was. That was another Spectrum A12. And I'm going in with another Spectrum A12. And this time I am going in with, I think that's Cariño. Cariño. I think so, but that's the one I'm going in with anyways. Apologies if I butchered that. And this shade is going right in my inner crease. I have been so excited to try this palette. I would have loved to have done a video with more looks, um, but I do have other things to film with and I will more than likely do some more videos, more looks with this palette because it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This shade is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. That is beautiful. I'm just going to go in with a bit more of Noob, the purple. I'm just going to bring that kind of into the crease a little bit more. So hopefully this plan will work. We shall see. We shall see. But this is looking stunning. Right, so I am going to take um, this little Morphe brush, like a little pencil brush, and I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with um, Guam, Guamu Chill. I have no idea, I'm so sorry, but I'm going in with that. And I'm going to just take a little bit I just want to just deepen the crease area ever so slightly. I'm just going to blend that up a little bit there. This is looking really nice. I'm loving these shades together. And then back in with Noob, the purple. So I know they're not gonna blend the best, but it is okay. It's all good. This is looking really good. Really, really good. And back in with Cariño, the lighter of the greens. I'm just going to blend them together a bit more. And then back in with the deeper of the greens. I'm not going to try and butcher the name anymore. I'm just going to take that up a bit further. Oh, this is looking so good. I'm so happy with how this is going. And then I'm just taking a fluffy brush. This is a Spectrum A08. And I'm just going to kind of wiggle over the edges. So 
that they're all nicely blended. Then I'm going to add a little bit more of that yellow, which I'm not going to try and pronounce again. <laughs> oh dear, I think I've butchered that in a... I just want to make sure that that really does show up. Blend that into that green there. This is really taking shape. I am loving it. And I'm just going to continue like feather blending the edges just ever so gently. Just to eradicate any harsh lines. I am. I am so happy with how this is looking. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to go back in with the deepest purple, Noob. And I'm just going to really pack that in this outer area here. Okay, I am loving this. So, this is so beautiful. And, oh, what do I want to go in with on the lid? Okay, so for my lid, the first shimmer I want to go in with is... Michuthan? Michuthan? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> it's the deeper of the green shimmers anyway. Oh, crikey. I need to stop trying to uh, say these names because I am failing miserably. And that is going to go on the outer part of the lid here. Oh, this is gorgeous. Bear in mind, there is no glitter primer. Um, I haven't sprayed the brush. I just initially wanted to just see how it came out. And this is absolutely stunning. Cool. I am loving this. Okay, and so for the inner part, I think it's pretty obvious, pretty obvious which one I'm going to choose, but uh, Theolito Lindo, this one. Oh God, apologies for my terrible pronunciation. This is stunning. This shade of green is just perfect. Look at that. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm just going to take a bit more of the first green shimmer and just pull that out a little bit more. And then I'm going back in with Noob, the deepest of the purples. I'm just going to tap that there. Or, or should I? Hmm. I'm going to, let's just give that a swirl off. I'm going to dip in with um, Almohada, this one. And I'm going to kind of use that on the edge of the green here. Kind of tapping it between the two. Ooh. I'm really loving how this is looking. I'm just going to go back in with that purple noob, the original deep purple. I'm just going to make sure that I've got Really nice kind of blend here. I will clean up the lower part 
just need to make sure that where I want to kind of that it works I know what I mean <laughs> oh my word right I am going to clean up under this eye and prime this eye and then we'll do the lid of this side together so just stay where you are okay so cleaned up I primed and I am going to go in with I think that's Abuelita beautiful shade and I'm going to take that it's very pigmented and I'm going to take that all the way through my crease really blending this out so through the crease up and out this is going to be our transition shade How can you not just fall in love with this shade? It is like such a happy, happy colour. And when I think of butterflies, I think of happy, happiness. Butterflies come out when the sun comes out. So yeah, making sure just to feather out the edges so that there's not a harsh line and that is looking so pretty just look at that shade absolutely stunning absolutely stunning do i want to actually do you know what do you know what i do i'm gonna take just a little bit of um men's uh, hey the yellow and oh brushes Steph brushes the one I used for the orangey shade is the made by Mitchell ME1 and now I'm going in with a made by Mitchell ME3 into that yellow shade and I'm just going to take that over just these edges I'm just taking a tiny bit at a time because I don't want it to become like a block of colour on top if that makes sense so I'm just taking the tiniest bit because I just want to kind of almost halo the edge so it looks like the edge is kind of the sun's beaming through something like that and this is working perfectly look at that the blend is effortless wow i'm loving this okay so next i'm going to go in with perla which is the bright red and i'm going to take that on a peaches and cream PC22. I'm going to place that right on this outer area. Now I don't think that is going to be quite deep enough. Hmm. Hmm. But I'm taking that right in the crease to deepen that slightly. I'm just blending it into the orange, which is again blending beautifully. And just with that same brush, do I want to? Yes, just with that same brush, I am going to dip into uh, no, nueva. Nueva. Nueva Vida, I think. 
again apologies if I'm butchering that I'm just using the same brush and I'm just going to be kind of getting that right in this outer V kind of like a reddish brown or very deep browny red and I'm literally just using that for just some more depth in this outer area these are they're just blending together so effortlessly it's unreal And then I'm going to go back in with Abolita, Abolita, the uh, orange. I'm just going to go over the edge there just to make sure we don't lose that shade. And then back in with the yellow, which I'm not going to try and pronounce again because I... I know I'm butchering it really badly <laughs> oh dear I'm just going to take that outwards and then back in with the brush for the brighter orange bright orange the transition shade and I'm just going to wiggle that between the two oh this look is just coming together so beautifully and then back in with a little bit of the yellow just to blend this area a little bit let's go in with some shimmers shall we i am going to oh do you know what i just want to go in with mariposa which is the bright orange shimmer and i'm going to just whack that all over my lid because that looks absolutely stunning and a lot picks up on the brush oh this is more of a creamy texture so i hope you can see oh, wow and i'm now going to dip in with sagrado this one and i'm going in with a jessup 234 lux smoky shader with the hair on the end of it perfect um all right let's take a bit of you and i'm just going to use that to bridge the uh the orange and the the red this is absolutely stunning look at that i am getting fallout but i'm not being careful so it is to be expected. So I'm tapping it into the orange. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love this. Right. Going back in with the brush that we had the deepest shades on. And just making sure to blend the outer V there. Oh, I think... Actually, with that same brush, I might dip into Maria, this one here, just to add just a little bit more depth there. okay guys so i'm going to nip off finish my face and then i'll come back to show you the completed two looks and have a chat with you let you know what my first thoughts are on the new melt amori mari process palette so if you would like to see and hear all of that then don't go anywhere okay guys so i am back with the finished looks 
Um, so let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you prefer look one or look two? Let's have a chat. And also, if any of you have picked this up or are going to pick this up, let me know. Um, firstly, everything I have on my face will be listed in the description box below for if you want to know what any of it is. Um, this palette, oh my word. Firstly, this outer box itself, 100% um, keeping. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And on the back, you have all the ingredients on the box. And then the palette. Oh my word. Um, I, I'm in love with the packaging. It is just so beautiful. Just look at the detail. There's so much effort gone into it. So much thought. And the butterflies on the back. It's, the packaging is 10 out of 10. And the shadows i mean amazing color story i'm trying to think what i went in with on my lash line crikey i'm terrible so on um on this side <laughs> i went in with both of these um two here so noob and almohada i don't know how you say that i'm so sorry um and then what else did i do <laughs> crikey i went in with tequila on the inner corner i did pop a bit of mess miss white in there as well just in this bit crikey i'm terrible um and then on this side um what did i do yeah, i blended it out with mensahe mensahe something like that and then i popped that also on the inner corner um these shades are amazing the shadows perform beautifully this orange one um mariposa um it's more creamy if that makes sense um but they all performed so beautifully the mattes blended amazing this purple was just one of the stars of the show the greens are beautiful I, I have zero complaints. I absolutely love it. My arm's aching now, so I'm going to uh, pop that down. Um, but yes, if you are a fan of this kind of colour story, um, if you know you love Melt's formula, in fact, I think this might be a little better, the formula. So yeah, guys, I, I highly recommend this palette. If you are on the fence, um, I would say go for it. I love it. Um, so yeah, that is about it from me for today. So if you have liked this video, um, then please do give me a like. If you are new, um, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and stuck around. I do a lot of really colourful looks and I'm a huge supporter of indie brands. So that's mostly what you'll find on my channel. Um, so yes, if that all sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then hit the subscribe button. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.